My name is Chris, and today we're going to be talking about light. Welcome to the vinyl attack. attack! The record collecting and hi fi world are inundated with an ever growing number of accessories that constantly compete for your attention, your hard earned dollar, and implore you that their product is not only the best, but of course, absolutely necessary. Have a turntable? Well, you're going to have to have a tone arm lift to avoid wear and tear on your stylus. You paid for upgraded speaker cable? Now you'll need to have cable lifters to keep them off the ground. How about an integrated amplifier? Well, if you don't have an ambient field conditioner, you're clearly doing it wrong. Now some of these products might work, and some might not, but there are so many more types of items available that I couldn't even conceive of such a number. Every once in a while, however, we overlook simple solutions to simple problems, or just simple circumstance that we don't even realize we're living with. One such situation is a lack of lighting. Before we move on though, please note that while this product was provided to me free of charge for review, I will be relating my sole opinion without any influence from anyone. As stated in previous reviews, I will not recommend a product to you that I wouldn't absolutely stand behind myself just to line my pockets. A couple of weeks back, I was contacted by a gentleman named Robert Kahn asking if I'd like to review one of his lights. Well, not one of his lights personally, but one of the lights that his company, Reliable Corporation, makes. I must admit, I was fairly excited to have a vendor contact me out of the blue for a review since this is such a new channel, but perhaps I was a little less than completely thrilled that the product for review was a lamp. Still, not being one to overlook an opportunity to check something out no matter how big or small, I contacted Robert about his offer and went about the details of procuring said light. After a few pleasant emails back and forth, I was able to acquire not one, but two lights to review for you. Why would you need two lights, you might ask? Well, quite simply, the difference is in the base options. One is equipped with a C-clamp for things like hi-fi racks or tables with a lip, while the other has a hefty base that suits things like credenza-style tables and any other type that a clamp couldn't fit. I opened the C-clamp option, or the Uberlite Model 3100TL, if I'm being exact, and attached it to my hi-fi rack to see just what this thing would offer. The first thing you'll notice is the build quality. For what is essentially a gooseneck lamp, this thing is very well built and sturdy. So sturdy, in fact, that I'd highly recommend attaching it to your table and adjusting the neck before you put a record on your turntable and start playing it. While the silicone coating on the neck felt quite nice in the hand, I was actually shocked how much force was necessary to take the neck and flex it into the desired shape. You'll definitely need two hands, as this is not a cheap little IKEA light, and that's a very good thing. You'll not have to worry about this light sagging, moving, or shifting in any way after you've bent it into a position you like. So why is the neck such a rigid beast? Well, because it has to be. You see, this light, the Uber light, has been around now for 17 years in one form or another, and it's used daily by professionals in all kinds of industrial environments as well as residential. That's because the Reliable Corporation isn't a hi-fi accessory company. As a matter of fact, the company doesn't make a single other thing that would really be useful in our hobby. So how did this light get marketed to us? The company president, Robert, is also an audiophile. From 1977 to 82, Robert worked at a hi-fi audio store and has always had a passion for music. Then, as happens with many of us, life came up with a different plan for him and he left the hi-fi world behind for the better part of a decade. He took over as president at the company his father started in 1955, raised children and put them through college, and did all the accompanied things along the way. But in the back of his mind, he'd always loved music and the equipment on which it's played, so he found his way back to building a new two-channel system and regrowing a vinyl collection. After the latest version of the Uberlite, a term and design they've had trademarked long before the arrival of that app-based taxi service, he realized what a good fit this light would be for the hi-fi market and saw the opportunity to contribute to the hobby he loved. While the silicone covering adds a comfortable grip while adjusting and looks quite refined, it's also non-resonant, which helps keep any additional noise from interfering with your turntable. Couple that with a muscular neck built to resist vibration from industrial strength sewing machines, and you have a lamp that, in its construction, is a great fit for our hobby. But how does it perform? After several hours of continual use, I can say without hesitation that it performs very well. It has three different light temperatures to suit the different needs, mood, and preference you might have, and you have three different levels of brightness for each temperature. I started off with a natural white setting of 4000 Kelvin to see what effect it might have when viewing my system, and I was greeted with a nice natural and neutral light that quickly showed me just how dusty my turntable was. After some tinkering with the different temperatures and brightnesses, if that's a word, 
I discovered that for my room, I would use the 4000K when cleaning and placing record on my table, and the warmer and more comfortable feeling 2700K when it's actually sitting and listening to records. Both temperatures were set at their lowest setting as I didn't need anything more than that, but I like that it still had plenty of available power should I choose to boost the lamp's output. The attached power cord terminates with a USB end that connects with a provided plug. At first I wasn't sure if I liked this as it's just one more potential piece that I could misplace, but with the worldwide availability of USB plugs, it made complete sense as it would cut production costs of trying to fit every light with a country specific plug, thus making the light more affordable to us. This will also probably make things easier on your end too if you're buying a lamp and don't live in North America as all you'll need is a USB plug of your own. The lights both weigh more than I'd anticipated, which gave me a good sense of stability and an idea of how well constructed they are. For a gooseneck light to come in at just under 2.5 pounds, you'd really need to have some solid components in its makeup. The 4100 TL weighs in at nearly 7 pounds, so you can be sure that when you place it on a table, it's not going to go sliding around from the slightest bump. Trying to think of what questions you might have in advance, I powered the light on and off several times as well as plugging and unplugging it while I had music playing on my turntable to see if there's any interference with sound. I'm happy to say I couldn't hear any change whatsoever, but it did bring up one minor thing as a caveat for this lamp. The power button. The same button that selects the power setting on the light is also the button that turns it off. Now, that's not uncommon by any means, but you need to hold the button down for about three seconds in order to shut the light off. There were several times throughout the week that I went to turn the light off after use, only to turn the brightness up instead. As I stated, it's a minor thing, but I think a separate power button would be a welcome addition in the future. Speaking of the future, Robert did tell me that this light will indeed have revisions down the line as he and his company are always looking to advance their product line. He even hinted that a sliding dimmer option may be in the future, but nothing is set in stone. He's also looking to secure more global distribution. For those of you who live on the far side of the globe from Canada where they're based, Robert is currently brokering a deal to set up distribution in New Zealand and Australia. Good news for anyone near that area as I don't have to tell you how rough shipping charges are for those countries. This should certainly help abate that issue. So what are my overall thoughts on this light? Well, remember back to the beginning of this video when I said I was less than thrilled to review a lamp? That changed over the course of two weeks. After using the Uber light regularly, I've become quite accustomed to turning it on to check the dust and debris on my records before I play them, and the added benefit of seeing my stylus drop point much clearer. It's one of those items that, once you've tried it for a bit, you find yourself not looking back. If you have records you think are clean, this light is certainly something you should consider. Its ability to show with absolute clarity the surfaces of your record, hi-fi system, and any surrounding area are remarkable. You'll no longer be guessing about an item's condition, you'll see it clear as day. Like the Calax Backspacer I reviewed before, this light solves a problem that we sometimes don't even know we have, and now that I've used it, I don't think I'd want to be without it. If you'd like to purchase one of these lights for yourself, I've included a link to Reliable Corporation website below, but if you like free stuff, Robert has been kind enough to donate an Uber light to the channel so I can raffle it off to you. That's right, the Uber light Flex 4100 GL with the heavy base uh, can be yours for free, or mostly free if you live outside the US. While I'm happy to cover shipping costs to the continental US, the price of international shipping is a bit more than I can tackle by myself right now. I also don't want to alienate any of my viewers not in America with my very first raffle, so I'm proposing this. If you'd like to enter into the raffle for this lamp and you'll split the shipping costs with me, I'll make sure it gets to you. Of course, every raffle needs to have a goal, right? So I'm choosing a 5,000 subscriber goal for the channel. We're closing in on 4,500 as it is, so I think it's a fairly easy goal to attain with just a little help from you. Click on the subscribe button if you haven't already, and you might as well hit like while you're there. And tell people you know about this channel so that as soon as we hit 5,000 subs, I can post a video with the contest entry details. Easy peasy. In the meantime, I'd like to hear what you think of hi-fi accessories like this, as well as any of the more ridiculous ones you've come across. Have you found a helpful gadget that we might not have heard of? Have you come across perhaps the most outrageous gimmick that promises perfect pitch while regrowing your hair? Definitely let us know in the comments section below, and I look forward to next time.